Well, those migrants that were transported or to be transported from Rockford have not yet arrived here. That's uh, according to the personnel that's on site here. They say that the migrants, the uh, dozen plus so that are already here, had spent the night here in warning buses. It's unclear if any of those migrants who spent the night here were the migrants that arrived on buses from the uh, Woodstock area. In the meantime, of course, as you mentioned, the migrant crisis uh, has Chicago grappling with, uh, once again, with the suburbs as well. Chicago's cracked down earlier this month on rogue buses arriving uh, without permission uh, led to uh, migrant transports to the suburbs. Now, plane carrying migrants from Texas arrived in the Chicago Rockford uh, airport earlier this morning uh, after about a two and a half hour delay. There were over 300 migrants on board. Since December, Texas has been sending plane loads and bus loads of migrants to Chicago and other sanctuary cities. Those migrants uh, are the ones who have crossed into the United States from the southern border and they're calling their operation Lone Star. Now, the overnight transport follows a bus carrying 30 to 40 migrants who arrived in northwest suburban Woodstock this weekend. We saw children, I would say as young as like 18 months, two senior citizens, not prepared for this weather. Now, so far, tens of thousands of migrants have arrived in Chicago this year after the city declared itself a sanctuary city in 2021. Rockford, by the way, is not a sanctuary city. Now, several communities have been recently uh, passing ordinances threatening uh, to hefty fines to bus drivers who are unloading asylum seekers without notice. In September, uh, our governor, Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker, asked uh, Illinois communities, several Illinois communities, to take these migrants in. He's even offering over $41 million in assistance and grants to help with food and lodging, also uh, health care, and also legal support. This as he and other officials continue to ask the federal government for more support. So we're here uh, waiting for the 300 migrants uh, who arrived in Rockford to